Hey guys, it's vlog time. And I don't really know where this is going to go, but I it might just be rambling. But then again, don't I always do that? Anyways, um so that was good anyways. Um so basically I want to talk about how Shitty stuff happens to us, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. There's usually not anything we can do to prevent it. Now, sometimes there is, and in those situations, woo, yay, because we can prevent it. But we usually can't, and the only thing we can control is the way we, the way we react and how we're going to move on from those situations because you don't want to get stuck in a rut and you don't want to get stuck in a bad place you don't want to be destructive or any of those things we want positive vibes Woo! um if you can't tell i'm really in a good mood right now well at least i'm really hyper i don't know if i'm in a good mood but i took my medicine today and i didn't take it yesterday and that's probably why i'm going to be um anyways so what I'm trying to say is, we're all going to have shitty times. We're all going to feel shitty at some point in our life. And if someone tells you that they haven't, I guarantee you they're lying. Because we've all had those days. Some of us worse than others, but we've all had some degree of the spectrum of badness. Now, I know that is really hard and it gets really comfortable for those of us who had depression or have had a long series of bad moments to get stuck in that place and it gets comfortable and you don't want to leave but the only way you're going to get out of that is by picking yourself up by your what's the saying bootstraps whatever it is and working on whatever you don't like about yourself whatever you don't like about your life and changing it and I am a very good example of that, I guess. I Like, I used to hate when people tell me that. And I'm like, oh, you're lying. That's not true. But it really is. Um, no one can force you to change. No one can make your life better. You are in control of your life. You're in control of what happens to you. Usually. Now, there are exceptions to that. Because, like I said, bad stuff happens that we can't always control. But just because those bad things happen does not mean that you have to have um, a bad life and make bad decisions and be sad all the time. Um, like, I'll use this as an example because this really made me happy when Pete once said this at the Fall Boy concert. But he basically said that the whole thing about how people say it gets better is bullshit. And I completely agree with that. It doesn't just get better. You don't just wake up one day and everything's all peachy keen and all the bad shit is gone. You have to make it that way. You have to work for it and change whatever you don't like. Because life is hard and life is shitty and that's just the truth of it. And it sucks, but that doesn't mean that you have to give up and just say life's going to be shitty my whole entire life. I might as well just stay like this because that's not true. Um, like... If you're struggling with self-harm, if you're struggling with eating disorder or depression or anxiety or any, it doesn't even have to be something like that, but just like anything you don't like, don't just sit around complaining about it. Like I used to be like that. I used to be one of the people who used to just complain about it, sulk in my problems and be like, um, nothing's going to get better. I'm not going to, there's no way I'm going to stop um, hurting myself. I'm just going to always be like this I might as well just give up and that's not the truth the only way that that stuff's gonna go away is if you make a conscious effort to work on it and change whatever you don't like you're not just gonna wake up one day and it's all gonna be gone that's like I'm sorry if this sounds mean but it's just reality and the sooner you get that um and start working on it the happier you're gonna be because no one can make you 
want to change no one can make you change no one can make you go to therapy no one can make you want to do recovery because whenever someone makes you do that you automatically just want to do the opposite it's just like our human um instinct or whatever like um if your parents take away the stuff you used to hurt yourself you're just gonna find something else to use or find another way of coping with the problem which isn't healthy that at least that's what I used to do um and that's not gonna help anything you know what I mean like I can be there for you someone else can be there for you but we can't make everything better for you we can support you but we can't make all that stuff go away you have to do it I guess that my main point of this video is that no one can make your life better except for yourself no one can change anything about yourself you have to do it and it took me forever to learn that and I really hope that it doesn't take you guys as long as it did to me because but and if what I'm saying doesn't make sense here, I just thought of another thing that might, um, like, stuff your parents tell you about life or, like, you shouldn't, let's see, or, oh, no, here's a better one. Like, when you're in love with someone and, um, they, like, you get, like, a, a like, a love, love goggles and you, like, think they're some amazing person and everyone around you, all your friends and family are telling you that that person is a douche or they're a bitch or they're cheating on you and you don't believe them because you're in love with that person. It's the same exact thing with depression, anxiety, self-harm, uh, eating disorders or, like, self-conscious stuff is, like, the douchebag that you're dating, basically. Oh, this is, oh, I'm going, I'm going with it. This is good. Um, it's the douche bag you're dating and everyone around you is telling you that they're bad for you and um they're cheating on you or whatever the bad thing is they're saying that this thing in your life is not good for you but you have the love goggles on and the love goggles are telling you that this is right for you and you're supposed to be doing this and then once you re later on like you break up with that person or they dump you and then you the feelings are gone you realize that all those people around you were right and you didn't need that in your life but it's too late because you went through that situation so the sooner that you learn that you don't need that stuff in your life then the happier you're gonna be like no one can make you realize this stuff no one can change you you have to do it yourself um and if there's something you don't like about your life or something you want to stop doing then make a conscious effort to um change it it doesn't have to be some like big thing you don't have to do huge steps or stop doing it cold turkey make little steps and like just because someone can't make you change it doesn't mean they can't be for you through it. Like, I, I'll be there for anyone through it. Um, like, if you're struggling with anything. And I'll be so proud of you if you're just, like, if you're doing the smallest step to doing it. Um, like, let's say you're afraid to go out of the house. And you one day, you walk down to let's say the library or the coffee shop and you sit there for a half an hour or whatever drinking a cup of tea I will congratulate you and will have a little celebration because that is a huge thing and I'd be so proud of you for doing that just little things like that taking little steps like that continuously making them bigger each time helps so much trust me because i used to be afraid of leaving my room at college and i started doing my homework in the library or in the art building and then i worked up to talking to people in class and now i can talk to people at work with no problem and i talk to customers all the time and i don't get anxious at all well i mean like i have some days but it's a lot better than it was let's just say that so 
just make conscious efforts to change the stuff that you don't like about yourself and I guarantee you, you will be a happier person. And I don't know if this video is making any sense and it's really rambly and I'm really hyper but I hope it is making help for someone. The bottom line is the egg, like Pete once said, the it gets better shit is bullshit and I've always said that. Um, you choose your own happiness. And by making conscious efforts to change the stuff you don't like in your um, life, it's going to make you a much, 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 much better person. And positive vibes are my number one tip because they help a lot. And the little, like, make little goals or little steps. You don't have to change everything in one huge little thing. Anyways, um, could you guys, like, you guys asked me to make these, but no one's giving me any feedback or anything, so that'd be nice. And send me questions or stuff you want advice with. And that's it. I love you.